Hey guys, so today I'm refurbishing the old rusty headlight retainers. I'm fitting new headlights and chrome bezels. I'm also fitting a brand new canvas bonnet strip. So this is the unit out. As you can see, it's pretty rusty and looking pretty poor. It's a sealed beam unit, so you can see that you can't change the bulb in that. And I'm changing them over to the more modern H4 uh, units. So what I need to do is get this out of here. I need to restore this ring, this rim that holds it onto the bodywork because these are very difficult to find now. Um, so the plan is to de-rust that, give it a coat of paint, get some new um, lenses in here and then get them put back into the into the grill. So I'm just plus gassing all these little posi drives are tiny but they're going to be rusted in and they hold um, this chrome plate on here. I've ordered some new ones of these so these will be nice and new and shiny. Do the back. And we'll just leave that to soak in for a while. So I've managed to loosen the three screws enough that I can twist this out. I think, there we go. So, we'll bin that, bin that. That's the bit we need to keep. So I've got all of the screws out of the frames and I've just dropped them in this degreaser and I'll leave them in there for a while. Right, so you can see that these are fully dried now and you can see they've got quite a lot of surface rust. They're actually solid though, so that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a bit of this frost metal prep. Paint it on for 20 minutes and that should uh, stop the rust before I give it a coat of paint. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Counting down. So that's 20 minutes of applying the rust inhibitor and just now washing these off and then I'll just put them out in the sun to thoroughly dry before I paint them. So you can see what kind of finish it gives after doing that. It's not perfect. I mean the correct way to do this if you were doing a full restoration would be to, to have this all sanded back or bead blasted or something like that to bring it right back to bare metal and redo it. But because I'm on a budget and I'm just trying to do this quickly and just make things a little bit better, this is uh, a good way to do it. So these are ready for a spray and I'm going to use uh, aerosol buzz weld. All right, so that's the paint dried on them now. Let's hold them up in the sun. You can see them. They're a bit rough, but at least they tidied up and that should stop them rusting for quite a while yet. So now I need to get my new lights and chrome surrounds put on. So these are Brit parts. I know, I know, I know. Don't blame me for that. These actually came with the car. They're in a box full of stuff. So there's nothing wrong with them. Um, so I'm going to put them on. So let's get that done now.
so now all that unit's back together you can see what that looks like now this now goes in here but the feed in from the back Once you've got these screws tight and it's not moving about, I presume your adjustment comes because these are on springs. So the more I tighten that, the more I can adjust this to where I want. But I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. And there you go, that's it finished. I think it's been three to four years since I've had any lights in here when I first dismantled it. It's been a very slow project, but hopefully this year we're going to be going much quicker with it. In fact, I'm hoping to get it moving, driving this year. Let's have a look around the back so you can see how they go in. Happy with that. Just waiting for a new canvas strip to go on the top of here put a little bit of paint on these and then that's the grill done so the next thing I want to do just to finish off today's video is put my new bonnet strip on there so I bought this one off eBay it's about £17 and included the clips so I'm gonna have a go at doing that now so I've drilled a hole pushed the clip through like that and then that end goes into the hole very simple that's pushed in there so what i'm going to do is i'll stretch these out drill my next holes and just put all the clips in There we go, that was pretty simple, it took about 5-6 minutes to do that, quite neat, um, these look a bit dodgy at the end with the, the foam sticking out but until I get the wings back on and see where I'm going to trim them off I'm just going to leave them like that for now, the main thing is that tear uh, that's going to protect the, the, the top of the radiator panel there from the bonnet so happy with that. So there we go guys, we're one step further forward. Although it's just a small step, it is a step further forward. I'm quite happy with where that's looking now. Like I say, it's been three or four years since it's had any lights in the grills. And we've got the bonnet strip back on, so that's good progress. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. And if you are, I've got lots more to come this year. We're at the start of the year, 2022. Start of spring, I should say. So plenty of time to get lots done. And I've already been buying bits, so this is... Uh, should be some good progress this year anyway if you enjoyed it hit subscribe leave a comment and we'll see you in the next video cheers guys <laughs>